On Friday, parliamentarians from nearly 60 OSCE member states met in Vienna to discuss the crisis in Ukraine. The meeting was part of the regular winter session of nearly 250 lawmakers from across the region with at times heated debate, including a dispute over who could legally represent Crimea. The meeting, besides just uh, reiteration of the statements that the, uh, Crimea was annexed illegally, that no one in the room would ever, um, would ever you know, consider Crimea as part of any other country but Ukraine. The precarious ceasefire brokered at Minsk was also evaluated, especially in light of the recent clashes in Dibaltseva. The international community stands by Ukraine, understands what is happening. Nobody is being uh, tricked anymore by the lies coming from uh, Russian propaganda and that uh, there are many ways on how we need to, um, to speed up our reforms and cooperation with the international community to stop violence and war in Ukraine. The lawmakers' discussions were dominated by unanimous condemnation of Russian aggression, with its proxy fighters adamantly refusing to respect the ceasefire agreement, despite Ukraine's strict observation of the Minsk terms. The most important thing was uh, the sign, political sign and signal uh, to Russia, to Kremlin first of all, that uh, Russian aggression against Ukraine has not been acceptable. And uh, we, uh, we were uh, very uh, united as never because uh, even countries uh, considered before as uh, sympathics of Kremlin even or Russia, uh, they uh, express their concern, uh, they support for solution of the conflict, for uh, fulfillment of Minsk agreement, uh, and in fact everybody required from Russia to move back their tanks, their heavy uh, armament and their soldiers. In a press conference after the meeting, representatives from Ukraine, Georgia and Lithuania called for a halt to clear Russian aggression, which can only be resolved with the help of other European countries. And again, we saw that everybody here clearly understand several important things. First one, this is clear Russian aggression with the Russian tanks, with the Russian militants, with the Russian military equipment. The Vice President of the OSCE Parliamentary Assembly, George Serratelli, reiterated the condemnation by the Assembly of the continuing illegal detention by Russia of Ukrainian parliamentarian and former pilot Nadia Savchenko. Uh, it's unacceptable the continuing illegal detention in Russia of a fellow parliamentarian deputy of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine and a member of the, of the uh, delegation, Ukrainian delegation to Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe, Nadia Savchenko, who was abducted from the territory of Ukraine. And we expressed full support and joined uh, the call of international community to immediately release uh, Nadia Savchenko and other Ukrainian citizens who remain illegally uh, detained by Russian Federation. Statement after statement from delegates to the OSCE parliamentarians meeting in Vienna showed that there is an overwhelming support for Ukraine in its fight against the aggression coming from its neighbour. Paul Gillingwater for Ukraine Today, Vienna, Austria.